going on everybody? Eric and me guys again with another video. This is going to be something a little bit different. I actually wanted to uh, take uh, some time to really explore uh, something that I touched on a while ago. And by a while ago, I mean a few years ago. A few years ago, I made this video and actually made a series of videos in a little series I called Ed Chat, where I kind of uh, really just decided to dive into a bunch of topics that uh, were really things I was really in, still am passionate about uh, talking about when it comes to eating disorders, whether it be for males or females. I'm thinking of bringing this actually back to my channel and I really, uh, I, I feel like it's been so, uh, not overwhelming, but there's just been so many of you who have been sending me messages who have wanted uh, advice or guidance on what you can do. And uh, yeah, so I mean, that's definitely something that I really want to uh, do in the future. So what about this video? So. This video is going to be called The Fear of Fat, and this is essentially going to be a, a little remake of the video that I made a few years ago. I wasn't really the best on camera and wasn't really the best at conveying my thoughts to you guys, so hopefully I can uh, give some more insight to everybody. Alrighty guys, so let's get right into it. Now like I mentioned, there have been a lot of you who have sent me messages over um, over the, I'll say the years, but really more frequently over the past six months, and it's I, I just feel like this topic is just so rampant right now. Um, now, I, I can go in so many different directions with this, and I'm going to really try not to go on a rant, but um, I end up saying the same things nine times out of ten to everybody that sends me the message. Do you use your body in any way, shape, or form to make money? What's, what's, what's benefit is it for you to be at an absurdly low body fat percentage or to, uh, to fixate on the amount of body fat that you do have? Are you planning on competing in a, a bodybuilding show? Are you planning on being in the next men's health cover, hopefully not, it always ends up being the same answer is no. 99% of you are going to say no to that question and that's one thing that I really had to wake up and realize myself uh, when I was at my worst, when I was, um, and you can see in the pictures, I'll put them up right here, I was deathly thin, I was on the brink of death for so long, it's just because I couldn't, um, I couldn't grasp that myself. I won't go into it right now, I'll link my story in the description, you guys can check it out. But it takes moments like these, it takes epiphanies if you want to say, for us to realize that it's not worth it to look in the mirror every single day and strive to be at the lowest body fat percentage, to, to fixate on, uh, on vascularity, on, on getting more veins, on getting that extra two pack to count every single gram of food you eat every single day. Uh, it's just, it's it's not worth it to feel like crap all the time. And I can guarantee you, ask anybody that's in contest prep that's um, that's dieting for a show, is that that's the, all they do is think about food. And that's essentially why uh, I hold the personal belief of bodybuilding to be, in my opinion, and I rarely use this term or terms like it, is unhealthy. But then again, those individuals are using their bodies as their career, as a source of income, and so therefore, it's justifiable. And then we go back to us, the average Joes who use fitness for fun. Uh, we use fitness to enhance our lives and not to take away from our lives. Fitness um, and, and living a healthy, enjoyable lifestyle should be a part of the equation. It should be um, something that we do on a daily basis because it makes us feel good. And I know a lot of you are going to bring up the point, well, you know, girls are more attracted to me when I'm a lower body fat percentage or people look at me differently. Uh, and I look at myself differently when I'm a lower, at a lower body fat percentage. And that, my friends, is because we live in a messed up, superficial society that really does focus on looks, unfortunately. But that's something that you, I, and everybody out there has to get over. And we have to realize that as cliche and as typical as this sounds, it's more than just looks. We're gonna be about health, and that's essentially what this is all about. We need to be feeling good, we need to be performing our best, and we need to be thinking our best. If we're not doing those things, we're not gonna be healthy individuals at all. There's more to just health than our body fat percentage. There's our mental health as well. And I think a lot of people forget about that. So the main point of this video, guys, is if you're not competing, if you don't plan on being a bodybuilder, if you don't plan on being a world-class athlete that has to be a lower body fat percentage, don't worry about it. It's just not worth it. Take it from me, I wasted years and years and years of my life that I will never get back. Focused on the numbers that I saw on the scale, the abs that I never really got, that extra bit of vascularity that I saw. All of those things I worried about for years for no reason. I live in San Diego, California. 
I lost all that weight. I got down to a decently low body fat percentage and I never even took off my shirt. I never even got to go to the beach. Why? Because I was so afraid of what others would see. I couldn't even accept myself at that point. Again, guys, it's just not worth it. That's it for the video, guys. I really just wanted to bring a few things up to everybody and uh, my subscribers. I know a lot of you following are, uh, you know, in the clutches of an eating disorder or recovering from an eating disorder. And it's really just, you know, me just expressing myself on camera. I, again, really want to bring back Ed Chat. Uh, so if you guys have any topics you'd like me to cover, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'd love to address them. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like it, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.